Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Century Countess. In today's video we will be doing the skirt part of the miniature Elizabethan gown theme for the Evil Queen's ball gown. The Evil Queen's ball gown doll by the for the for a doll by the way. So without further ado, let's just get started. So what I'm doing right now is basically I'm doing just the easy bits first, which is basically hemming everything down. Raw hemming basically, but um, that's what happens when you don't do a seam line fabric type of thing. So we're going to hem this all down and um, from there we'll uh, close it up and we'll have the lower half of the skirt. Now that we've completed the lower skirt, it's time to get started on the big skirt. Or upper skirt, I should say. So without further ado, let's get started on that. So what we're going to do first, and this will be done off camera, we'll be um, adding this trim to the bottom. Let me see if I... Yeah, it's on camera. Um, I'm going to start from the top. Well, there's the other way, so do it there, and then I'm going to work my way all around and um, stop at the other side. And then we'll go to the easy bits that are um, basically stitching down this, stitching down that, you know, just doing the little corners that way, everything's nice and gathered. And then I will show you how I assemble the upper piece to the lower piece. So now we got um, this all sewn in. So basically what I did off camera was I hemmed it all up. At first, raw, the raw pieces to make it easier to put this um, interlock, this uh, trimming on. And then after that, I just sewed the trimming. And like I said, I did it all off on camera because it's not easy to do this just yet. And norm last time I tried to do something like this, it was a little bit out of focus. So these tiny bits, you know, I just did off camera. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just um, sew up the pieces needed for our... Um, waist bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sew those up real quick and make sure that uh, they are secure. So I'm just, what I'm doing right now is I'm just, I went through it with a quick stitch and then I'm going back over the exact same stitch line. That way it's nice and clean. bumping my camera again, <laughs> or my phone cam I should say. That's basically what I'm doing is making sure that it's nice and secure. Got the beginnings of a nice little. Uh, 
of the skirt, like the front part of the skirt. So we're going to continue to do that with the other pieces. And um, I'll get back with you very shortly. So here it is, fully uh, stitched. Let me just get this little bit done. Okay. So here it is. It kind of looks like a cape. The way it's shaped. So here is our uh, model doll. She has the same physique sh torso shape as the Evil Queen. She's in a little corset for modesty reasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up, petticoat and everything. There. So we got the skirt just about done. So let me find my needle. So what we're going to do next is we're going to adjoin the pieces. And then if you noticed in the previous bit, I um, forgive the raw edging, I mean, the raw bits, they're not taken in, but there's this little gap here that I made. I'm going to do the same to the back of this skirt because that's where um, we're going to be adding the um, closures for lack of a better word or oh, suit yeah right here we're going to add the add in the closures somewhere around there so i'm going to line it up i'm going to stitch it off camera i'm going to make that little um piece i'm going to join like a men from there join pieces off camera and then i'll show you what i'm going to do next to make it more clean looking so here it is it's conjoined as you can see, there is a very hideous, raw, um, unpleasant uh, top piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this strip of fabric here, and we're going to make like a homemade bias tape. So what we're going to do is first we're going to sew it all around here. basically like that and then we're going to bring it upwards so we're going to start that now and this is just to give it a nice clean look it's also to help with um, closures a little bit later um, basically all of that um, just to give it a nice look and don't worry about you know it going over the lower half if you decide to that is if you decide to try to make something like this um this is just a quick method like if you want to make a homemade doll skirt and then there's that you know and you do hem the top bit and you want to make it like a two-piece like i'm doing with this dress this is just a alternative to um not only make it cleaner but um to you know just give it you know an extra little bit of room just in case you might have hemmed it a little too short and it doesn't you know go down to the floor like an actual gown back in those days so this is just to give it some a little bit of length as well as a nice clean look and like i said we just fold it back First, though, let's trim off the excess. And then pull it back. And then once again, just take your thread and go back over it. I'm going to finish this off camera and then I will show you what we have. 
so here it is. Um, it's not fully completed yet. This is the skirt and the bodice all together. It um, still needs a little bit of adjustment, but I have it right now. I have it pinned together, pinned shut together. But when I add the closures and uh, have it on the correct doll without the bodice, because the bodice was just there for modest. Well, not I mean not bodice, the uh, corset that she's wearing it underneath is just there for modesty. This is just. Um, how it looks with a corset underneath. Um, but as soon as it's on the correct doll and properly uh, um, given uh, closures, etc., it will look a little bit much more better and it looks much more right. Also, if you remember, I made the rough, which goes on like, um, like basically like that. This is going to be um, attached on also with closures. Hold on, let me adjust the camera. Ugh. So this will be adjusted with closures as well. And it will have a special little cape adorned to it. The end, which will be in our final sequence for this uh, construction, which will be in the next episode or a following episode because I still need to order the um, little bits and pieces to give the dress some detail and some decor. But um, this is what we have so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned when we do the final, um, the final pieces, which will be the uh, closures and um, little details like jewelry, little decorative beading, um, part and how to finish the assembly of the collar, rough thing, and um, and then the final reveal with the evil queen dressed up in this lovely gown instead of our model here. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry it was a little glitzy. I'm still trying to learn how to do this self camera. Let me see. There we go. Much better. So stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.